Now in this vi video we're going to briefly talk about pattern trading. If you're watching this video and you haven't taken our course, this is going to be over your head. But uh, this again is designed primarily for those who have already taken their course. And I want you to pay close attention to what we say about pattern trading. Now, as you know, we look at four different patterns during the day. Now, let's just look at a couple of examples. What is this pattern here? This, you know, is a Green Day pattern. What's this pattern? What's this pattern? It's the Yellow Day. What's this pattern? Well, of course, this is, <laughs> this is the Fed Day. But it's a, again, Green Day pattern up. What's this pattern? All right, what's this pattern? Blue Day. And what's this pattern? Green Day down. Okay, what does that tell you? Let's go back here. Now, number one, you want to know what the bias is for the day. What's the probability that the market's going to rally or it's going to sell off? Now, if you've taken our course, you know how to do that. In fact, for all of you, before you even took our, our course, we helped you to see how to figure that out. So, know what the odds are. Know what the probability is that the market's going to rally or it's going to sell off and trade in that direction. So on the 25th, probability is markets going to rally. So with that thought in mind, it turns out your low is late. You get a late morning low. What does that tell you about the high of the day? High of the day should be early in the afternoon, not late, early in the afternoon. So you're looking for a high above the morning high at 98.75. You finally get it right over here. And it took that long. But once you got it, you knew that's about it. Why? Because of pattern. So whenever you took your long trade, instead of screwing around with the ups and the downs and the little volatility and the zones and all of that, Pattern trading says hold this trade into afternoon and look for a new high. Now, that high should have probably occurred. I mean, given where this occurs, it should have been more around 130-ish. Here's 130. We're still not at a new high. Finally, we get it. Deal's over. New high. Based on pattern, it's going to be a short rally relatively speaking. <laughs> so you hold it until you hit the new high and you're done. Yellow day pattern. Rallies up. All right, strong rally. Wonderful. But you also know this thing is going to come down. Okay, so where's the low going to be? Into the last half hour. We should have been into the into the into a new low in the last half hour. So you're holding that, waiting for the new low. <laughs> it doesn't occur until after the close. But once you've taken the short trade, you hold it. Don't worry about the volatility. Look at the pattern. So once you're into the timing of the exit, now look for the exit using your group reversals, using your zones, using your premium. That's when you use it. Now, let's just forget about the uh, fact that this was a, a uh, Fed day. Low of the day in the morning, 920. Probability on a Fed day that the market's going to rally is pretty good. That's the historical indications. So where's the high going to be? Probably somewhere before the last half hour. So you're holding the long trade. Let's just forget about that for a moment. You're holding the long trade beyond 2 o'clock and you're hitting new highs for the day. Okay? 
Got to hit new highs for the day. Somewhere after 2 o'clock. You got it right in here. You could have exited that trade right there. Left a little bit on the table. But that could have been your exit based on pattern. So don't worry about all the volatility. Look at the pattern. Okay. This is a harder harder pattern to trade with. Okay. No, no two ways about it. Harder pattern to trade with. But look at what the probability was. All right. Now, you're high. You're low. Both in the morning. High and a low in the morning. Now, what could that be? This is a little tougher to read. Suggestion could have been, could have been new lows in the last half hour. Red day pattern down. Doesn't turn out that way. Okay? Turns out to be a blue day. You don't really know that, though. So, a little harder to work with. But if this is the high and you're expecting a low in the last half hour, all right, and you didn't quite get it, you left maybe five points on the table. All right, from here to here, it's about a five point move. Okay, but it did ultimately come down in the last half hour. Didn't hit a new low. But that's what you might have been looking for and ignoring all of the volatility. Now, it would have been kind of a restless day, I have to admit that. But your pattern at least would have told you eh, more probable low in the last half hour. Okay? And then finally on this day. What's this tell you? Where's the high? 9.30. Where should be the low? Somewhere around 2 o'clock. Okay? So here's a new low. Getting into 2 o'clock. Okay? So you could have held that trade into the afternoon just waiting for the pattern to be fulfilled. And not worry about all of the volatility. Look at the pattern. Wait for the pattern to be finished. And given what the pattern says and what the bias is, today's bias, 65% probable short, there you are. Two o'clock thereafter, you're looking for an exit. And what did you do? 92, 72, 20 points on one trade, just by knowing the pattern. Okay? So instead of looking for every single opportunity to trade, pattern traders looking for the home run, looking for vol are, are ignoring the volatility and waiting for the timing of when to use the system for the exit. You're going to use the system for the entry to be sure. But once you're in, then you hold it. And you don't worry about the rest of the volatility. That's pattern trading. You're going to make a lot of money pattern trading. You're going to have to you're going to have to recognize that there will be periods of retracement. There's always going to be periods of retracement, but knowing what the pattern is, or at least having a good idea, will help maximize your trades on every single day. So, that's our lesson on pattern trading. Now, if you're not really sure about all of that, go back to our member section of the website, check on patterns, and we'll give you more information about it there. That's where you're going to learn that information is right on the website in the member section. So keep that in mind. Okay, I think that will conclude our discussion about pattern. We're now going to go back and take a stronger look at our new strategy.